Oh, 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 I have to change the camera. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today's video, we will learn how to use this Chart.js uh, library, it's a JavaScript library, into our view projects. It's very, really, really, very interesting, very visual, nice to work with that because you can interact, look like, hey, I want to delete some data sets, I have to put it in. Charges is gonna do those transitions that are, looks really nice. Um, I'm in a family house. It's my cousin's house, so this is his computer. So maybe I'm gonna be a little bit slowly. So excuse me if I'm like suffering. Like where is the where is the right bottom? Uh, uh, so well, let's get started. Charges. This is Charges. It's a library. It's a JavaScript library. It's really useful. In some project, maybe you're gonna use it. So I want to do it this very simple for you. Um, those are some examples. We have here more samples, and we have more. For example, the bar charts. Poof! You have like this. You have these types. You have line charts. Hey, nice. Other charts. The pie, the polar area. Hey, they are really nice. Uh, well, is my perception. Okay, maybe you, you don't like it. Maybe you're like, wow, what is that? Uh, pero for me, it's like, hey, very nice. So, well, let's do it. It's not so hard. So let's start. I'm gonna start with the installation part. Getting start, yeah, installation, yeah. First of all, well, we're gonna need NPM to install this chart, yes, so I think we can, we can start. I'm gonna create the project with Pite, you know? Bit, sorry, bit is the pronunciation. So I'm gonna copy the, the command to create the project. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna do it bigger. I'm gonna go to my developer folder, this dev, nothing special, you know. And I'm gonna paste here, okay, create the project. So a name, we can put it view chart. Yes, yeah, chart yes. It's gonna be a view project, a TypeScript, and we only have to do those comments. First of all, we have to go to that directory. So we go into the folder. We have to do the npm install to install all the dependencies. Meanwhile, we're gonna go here and we we're gonna go to chart.js. We are gonna copy the chart.js command to install it. Okay, I'm gonna paste here. All right, all right, all right. We have chart.js. Yes. So the only thing that we have to do now is the run server. So npm run dev. Very good. So in the blah, 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 5173, we have it. 5173, perfect. We have here our view. Hey, what, what was that? Look the mouse. Well, uh, if I click, this is the best basic structure of a view project. So perfect, we are running. We have the pro our project running. So what do we have to do now? We have to create, wow, the mouse changed. <laughs> um, integration, I think, I think, getting started. Okay, how this works. First of all, we have a canvas. We have to put it a canvas in our project. And in that canvas, the chart is gonna be loaded. So with that ID, the, 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 the code is gonna, is gonna find that ID and it's gonna load all the chart inside. So we have to have this part and we have to have this JavaScript code. It's the labels, this is the data and the configuration. So in some part, it's kind of short, it's semi easy. Let's see, we have to open the code um, and I, I have it open it recently, so I can open it like this. Um, source, uh, well, let's do it. I'm gonna create a component because you have here the in the in the app.view, I think if you know what is that, okay, I think it's gonna be easy for you. For example, we have here the principal div with the two logos, the bit logo and the build logo. So we go into the code and we have the bit logo, the view logo, the text, and this part. So all the text and all the part is here in the Hello World component. But I don't want to use it right now. I can delete it. 
I'm gonna save it. I will go to the web page and we only have the logos. Okay, so I'm gonna create a component. The component is gonna call, I'm gonna do it very quickly, chart.view. It's not a good name, maybe you should put it uh, chart co component. Well, I'm gonna do it like this, chart component, okay. And we have to put it a template. Let's see if this is working. Let's put it an H3. Hello. Save it. We're going to our page and ah, we have to call it in the app dot view here. We have to call it too. A chart component. That's the name. And we close it here. And the only thing that we have to do it is import. It. So we can import it here, we can import it here. Done. We save it. We came here. Hello. There is our let me see if I can put it bigger. Yeah, it's enough. What is that hello? Is this hello? Oof. So here we're gonna do our chart.js thing. So we're going to the code. We copy this Canva. Well, we can copy the whole. Oof. We copy this. We. Nah, I'm gonna delete this. Hello. No, no I'm gonna leave it, but I'm gonna put a h2 and i will put a chart yes yeah, yes sir and here i will paste the div with the chart perfect i will save it um i'm gonna open something here is because look the look the, the spaces here i want that to fix it automatically so if i want to the format of the text is do it automatically is in what is that part it's in preferences here preferences settings in the settings part we have text editor we have formatting and we have format on save done so when i click save tick, everything is gonna get the correct format all right now we have the canva with the my chart thing i think we we can start doing the javascript part so script and this is a view project so it's set up and lang is gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be typescript perfect all right in order to do it we have to import the chart.js into our file so how can we do that let's see here mm -mm. It's not here. Let's see integration. Oh, here it is. Script tag, no. Common JS, no. Bundler is our part. We can do import specifically. Or we can go here, the last one, very short import chart from blah blah. So we can import chart from charges auto. Seems really practical. So we have it here. We paste it. And now we have the chart imported. So I think this is the last part. What do we have to do? We have to set all the specification of our chart. And we can come here to again to the first part, the getting start. And we can copy this. And I think it's gonna be all. Let's do it by part. We have to copy the labels. So I copy the labels. Doom. I copy the data. You can put it here, all the data sets that you want. In we're gonna we're gonna put it somewhere in a few moments. And the configuration. Oh yeah, configuration. Well, let's let's do it. And the configuration. Toot. Perfect. At the end we have when we have the all three variables set it, we have to combine all of these and put it inside the canvas. So how can we do it with this part of the code? The my chart, dun, 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 dun. perfect. So what is happening here? We have to do something else. Well, we we're gonna save this. Let's see if it's working. Uh oh, sorry. 
I'm going to open the console to see the errors. Errors. So, fail to create chart. Can acquire for context from the given items. That's because before the, the template is loaded, before this canvas is in the web page, the JavaScript is searching for, for here, for there. It's like, hey, where is the Canva? There is no canvas here. So, poof, it's dying. So, an important thing that we have to do is put it on mounted, on mounted thing. Oh, 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 oh. We have the little kid saying, asking for her mommy. I think I have to stop a little and say that everything is okay. Wait for me. All right, I'm back. Okay, everything is perfect right now. So I'm gonna save this file. Okay, we put it the unmounted, unmounted thing. So I refresh, hey, 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 it's working. It's work working. Okay, we have here, January, February, March, the things, the, those are the labels. The data sets, we can put it, for example, two more. Let's put it like, let's see. Let's took and another one, book. So, my first data set, this is gonna be the second one, the second, and the third one. But we should change the colors. So, here we have, well, you have RGB is red, green, and blue. So red, let's put it 20 red. Green, 50. Blue, 90. The border, a little bit dark. So, for the border, the red is gonna be 20, the green is gonna be 40, and the blue is gonna be, oh my gosh, the kid is, is, is like, yeah, <laughs> explosion. And, it, Hey, <laughs> I have to post. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. Um, I don't know what to say. Let's see. I want to save it and let's see how you can see. Hey, it's better. And we have to do it with the third part. The color is very blue. Eh? Maybe I'm going to do a trick. You know that those numbers going from zero to 255. What is moving? What is that brave is moving? <laughs> what is happening? Uh, no, what is this? Okay, nice. And the third one, well, we have, we should, uh, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a little bit green. So 100 green, 200, 100 red, 200 green, and 150 blue. So again, here a little bit dark, so 90, 10, uh, 190, and 140, all right? Very nice. The size is really, really, really short. Let me see if we can set it here. Hey, 400, let's see. Uh-oh, 40, with 40, no? It's not like this, 40 pixels. Mm -hmm. And we have to fix that TypeScript uh, advertise. Uh, let's see. Better, I guess, yeah. But it's weird that... Um, that thing. Well, what should we do? Let first of all we have to create a HTML well, uh, canvas stack. The canvas stack is gonna be this one. All right, and we can put it here. All right. The argument type HTML null is not assignable to parameter of type chart item. What do we have to do? We have to cast. So we have to cast here and he say char item. Done. And config this element. 
the argument of type, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Type. What? Chart configure. Chart type registry. Let's see. We can see it bigger here. Okay. Chart configuration. I think it's the the element that they need. No, it's the parameter of type. Yeah. Chart configuration. Chart configuration. Okay. So what do we have to do? Tooth chart configuration done. And what this chart? Ah, because we don't need it. We can do it like this. Okay. So we can refresh. Uh oh. And what is the third? You know what? Because we have to change some values here. Let's put it 5, uh, 12, uh, 10. 18, 15, 22, and 33. Let's save it. And perfect, we have here the, the chart with our data sets. And we can delete it here. Tooth, tooth, tooth. And tooth. Well, it's very, I think, very interactive, very nice to the, to the, to the view. It's like very interesting, no? Well, I think, oh my gosh, this video is super huge, sorry, 16 minutes, oh my gosh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> too much, but I hope it works for you, if something, you have some doubt or whatever, you can tell, the, you can tell me in the comment, on comment, and I will help you, um, well, the best, a big, a big hug, <laughs> enjoy.